Hey folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. I'm going to explain to you today why these little tablets are the foundation of nutritional health. Okay, if you've ever watched me before, any of my videos, read any of my books, or done anything, uh, got onto our website, you know that I'm a huge promoter of spirulina and chlorella. Now, what are these two foods? Well, there are two types of algae, and they are completely different from one another. Chlorella is a green algae, um, and spirulina is a blue-green algae. Technically, it's a cyanobacteria. But they're completely different foods. If you look at the nutritional profiles, you're going to say, hey, these are about the same. But really, when it really comes right down to it, they're totally different. They're, they're just completely different foods. And that's why you want to try to include them both in your diet. But why are these the foundation of nutritional health? Well, I'm going to tell you why. Now, first of all, as I've said many times before, if you're a vegetarian or a vegan, or if you're not, doesn't matter, but in particular, if you're a vegetarian or vegan, I happen to be a vegan, I don't eat any meat, fish, eggs, or dairy, um, you really need to get these two foods into your diet, and you need to do it like right now. All the people that say, I, was a, I tried to become a vegan or a vegetarian, and I failed, I got sick, I got anemia, I got iron deficiencies, whatever, it's because they don't have these two foods in their diet. I am constantly harping on these because they are amazing foods. They are the healthiest foods on the planet. And that's why they should really be considered the nutritional, the foundation of our nutritional health. And this is what I use. This is the backbone of my nutrition. And uh, you know your body can cure, heal itself of any disease, but you need to put the right foods into it. And they start with spirulina and chlorella. They're the only two foods in the world that you could survive on exclusively, eat exclusively, and be healthy. There are no other foods in the planet you can do that with. Period. There's foods you can survive on, but if you really want to get all the nutrients, all your basic nutrients, spirulina and chlorella are going to do it. And that doesn't mean you've gotten every single nutrient in the world out of spirulina and chlorella, because that's not true either, but uh, you're getting all the basics. Now these foods are 60% protein, the highest of any foods. They have 20 different amino acids in them. They've got the complete range of them. And, uh, you, you know, they're pre-digested amino acids, meaning they're ready to be formed into proteins in chains immediately, unlike an animal protein that you need to break down the, the, the protein into amino acids and then reform it into human proteins. That's the way it works, okay? But not with a plant protein such as spirulina and chlorella or any other plant protein for that matter because it's pre-digested, ready to be formed into amino acids. You've got this really huge complement of nutrients in both these foods that uh, make them the most, the, have the most broadest array of nutrients of any foods in the world and the most nutritionally dense foods. So there's almost no waste at all when you're eating spirulina and chlorella. There's nothing. It's just pure food. Spirulina, very high energy food. Um, and chlorella, very detoxifying food. Chlorella has about 20% fiber in it, and it is a unique dietary fiber. It's the best in the world. It binds with heavy metals, herbicides, pesticides, other toxins, and pulls them out of the body. It also, any, anything that's in the food, any toxin that's in the chlorella, the spirulina, it, it, no matter, even if you put it into your body, it's going to remain bound with the food, and it's not going to displace into the body. But as far as nutritional uh, foundation. These are the foods you should be be using because, as I said, the broadest array of nutrients of any food, the most nutritionally dense foods. They've got, of course, your perfect complement of fats, proteins, carbohydrates. And let's go into the fat for a second. Fats. Well, you've got mainly got you've got all sorts of different fatty acids in there, essential fatty acids, but mainly ALL, a, 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 L, a, a, alpha linoleic acid and chlorella. Very difficult to find in any other foods. GLA, almost impossible to find in any other food. Gamma linoleic acid and spirulina. So you've got all your fa essential fatty acids, and that's why I said at the beginning of this, you can live on these foods exclusively. But these are the backbone, these are the foundations that I use and for your diet, and this is what you should be using. You take a small handful, 
of spirulina and or chlorella with every meal and that is all the protein you need for that meal if you want to eat meat fish eggs or dairy strictly for the taste so this is the way you got to look at these two foods again nothing comes close to, to the to the power of these two foods don't let anybody tell you differently because they don't know what they're talking about these are grown in control cultivated in controlled environments in ponds they're not taken out of the wild out of a lake or the ocean or any of that kind of stuff very important or they're scrutinized very very highly for heavy metals herbicides pesticides we've got all the test reports all that kind of stuff so they're very clean foods but this is the foundation that I use for my nutritional health and it's exactly what you should be using too. I'm Dr. Bob McCauley. See you next time. Hey, if you like my videos and you like all natural health and that's what we're all about here and that's what I'm all about, it's just my lifestyle, you know, click some of the other videos, watch them, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.